Welcome to this video. Today we will be talking about critical path method and in particular a sort of start relationship between activities and uh, finish to finish relationships. We will uh, be also discussing uh, activity flows in different uh, projects. Just a quick review of uh, the four main types of activity relationships, uh, finish to start, start to start, finish to finish, and uh, start to finish. Best practice in uh, showing activity blocks, uh, we need to connect uh, activity blocks on the start side or left side of the block and finish side or uh, the right hand side. Again, uh, finish to start, best uh, practice for visualization, finish to finish, start to start, and uh, start uh, to finish. Here is an example of how the calculations in uh, forward pass and uh, backward pass is done in um, networks uh, containing a start to start relationship. As an example, you can see that for activity F, uh, we have two options for early start. 8 uh, can be transferred from E as the first um, option uh, for early start of activity F. And uh, 13 from activity B can be transferred in the forward pass as the early start time for activity F. Because we are in the forward pass, the longest uh, date or 13 is um, accepted and then the duration of 10 is added and uh, 23 will be the early finish time for activity F. Please uh, go through uh, the calculations uh, for backward pass as well. Here is a practice for you. Uh, please pause the video and uh, draw a network uh, uh, for this uh, set of six activities. Uh, the precedence or um, prerequisite for each activity are given in the second column of the table and also the durations given. Here is an example uh, of a network containing finish to finish uh, relationship. As you can see in uh, calculations uh, of the forward pass for activity E, um, we have um, two options uh, for uh, early finish. The early start for E is three days and the duration of uh, four days. Uh, one option for early finish is seven days. Another uh, option that we have is coming from activity C. So Early finish time of 12 is our second uh, option for activity E. Because we are in the forward pass, the longest date is accepted. So 12 will be uh, the early finish time for activity E. Again, I encourage you to pause the video and concentrate on the calculations for uh, backward pass. Here is another example um, for you, uh, a practice network of uh, six activities containing a finish to finish uh, relationship uh, between activities uh, B and C. Uh, again, you can pause the video and uh, draw the network and uh, complete the forward pass and backward pass for this example. The next concept that we will be discussing today is uh, total float or total slack. Uh, the difference between late start and early start or the difference between late uh, finish and early finish will uh, determine uh, the amount of total uh, float. In this uh, particular example for activity E, the difference between 17 and uh, 15 is two days, uh, same uh, the difference between 10 and 8. So the total float for this activity is two units of time. Another example in here, and as you can see, uh, some of the activities are on the critical path. So the total uh, float is zero for them. And for other activities uh, such as F and H, uh, we have some uh, uh, float or slack. Another concept is a free float uh, for uh, any activities uh, 
such as H, we look at the earliest time of the successor, which is I, so 22 days, and the early finish uh, date uh, of the activity itself, uh, activity H, has early finish of 21 days, so the free float is one unit of time in here. Total float uh, shows uh, that uh, we have some flexibility to delay uh, the start time um, of the activity, but free float um, allows an activity to take longer than uh, the original plan. It's uh, also very important to notice that total float is always uh, greater than or equal to free float. Here is an another um, example for you. You can pause the video and uh, find the total float and free float uh, for um, project and activities in this example. To recap, uh, we covered the uh, uh, critical path method in particular start to start and finish to finish activity relationships. And we had a discussion about uh, total float and free float. Thank you for your attention. Looking forward to seeing you in the next videos.